Indonesia's small and medium enterprises are the backbone of Indonesian company. Small and medium enterprise in Indonesia create 107.6 million jobs in Southeast Asia's largest economy, but that productivity is still low. Besides the issue of efficiency, effectiveness, and ability to strive, the small and medium enterprise sector was also weak in the capital. Tempe as one of small medium enterprise Indonesia still need much improvement. Mr. Madekan, as the owner of Tempe Small Medium Enterprise, said that he needs machine to reduce the energy and have more efficient production. The soybean is clean, boiled, and fermented to make tempe. The boiling process is associated in two pots with capacity of 60 kilograms. In a day, 6 kilograms of soybean is used. The operator manually sifts, drains, moves all soybean skin, then he places the skin into the basin beside the boiler. He also drains and moves the soybean to conduct the next process. We thought, planned, and adjusted the concept to the real condition. Then, we made the program of the prototype. We select and buy the needed materials. We build the electronic part and also build the physical parts together. We assemble it as the concept. We do the trial and repeat all the process until we got the best result. explaining the components and parts of the machine. The power supply is used as converter AC and DC. The power connects to Arduino Mega as the controller. Max 6675 as the module for thermocouple. Thermocouple is the sensor used to detect the temperature. LCD displays the temperature from thermocouple. R1 and R2 as the relay for converting signal AC and DC. A motor is used for turning the steerer to peel the soybean skin. The motor turns for 3 minutes after the temperature reaches 100 degrees Celsius. The electric stove is used for heating the pot. Stove will be turned on when the electricity is connected and will be turned off when the temperature reaches 100 degrees Celsius. Pour soybean and water into the tank. Cover the tank with the lid. Plug it into electricity. Turn on the switch. The stove is automatically on. LCD displays the temperature inside. Wait until the temperature reaches 100 degrees Celsius. The steering machine is activated for 3 minutes. The LCD displays Matikan, tiriskan. Switch off the machine. Open the valve and lift the filter. This is the comparison between manual and automatic. The capacity by using manual machine is 60 kilograms, but using the prototype needs 5.7 kilograms. The manual machine uses 3 kilograms of LPG, while the prototype needs 0.6 kilowatt per hour. The manual machine needs 4 hours to operate, but the prototype needs 2.4 hours to operate. The energy cost for using manual machine is 20,000 rupees, while the energy for prototype costs for 2,104 rupees. The boiler machine also automatically drains the water by using valve. The operator could easily move the boiler machine using wheel. Operating the manual needs 20,000 rupees with much effort, while the automated one needs 22,747 utilizes less effort. The manual needs to change the LPG every day, but the automated doesn't. The manual peels skin using hand, but the automated one uses steering machine. The manual needs to estimate the boiling time, while the automated doesn't. Hello everyone! We are at ID Industrial Design Exhibition. So today, we will present our prototype to uh, many small enterprises all around East Java and also the high schools all around East Java.
Kotak is being observed by one of Tempe's small enterprises in Indonesia. And as we can see, yes, this is our lecture. Mr. Yuda, along with the owner of a small enterprise of Tempe in Surabaya. He is interested in our prototype and he wants to uh, get our prototype and make it into numbers of machines so uh, he can distribute it to many other enterprises of Tempe around Indonesia. This is the farewell time to our prototype soybean boiler machine. We're gonna miss it. Harley, guys, we're gonna miss it very much. Bye bye, soybean boiler. Bye bye. Bye. Take care of yourself. <laughs> Dada. Dada. Yes. Mission accomplished. Yay.